Welcome back, everybody. It is cold outside, but that doesn't mean your kids have to be bored at home. In fact, it's the best season to get your kids in a creative mood. Take a look at this. My name is Tiffany Pratt, and I'm an art facilitator. I chose to be an art facilitator because I love being with kids. I love making things. I love watching the opportunities happen before my eyes. It makes my life complete. The most important thing when you're putting out projects for your kids is you want to put out things that have no determined end because you want them to have fun, explore. It's about the process of what they're learning, not the product of what they're making. So if they're gushing and they're smelling and they're seeing and they're feeling, that's an art project and that's the best kind. So this is shaving cream and you can find it anywhere. You probably have it in your bathroom. Throw it on a tray. Do you love this or what, Andy? Yes. And it's super sensory, it smells great, it feels great, and it looks fantastic, especially if you add a little bit of glitter on it. And then you take droppers, liquid watercolor in jars, and go to town. Ladies, go to town. Are you guys having fun? Yeah. Okay, good, because I was getting worried. <laughs> Children absolutely love an element of danger. So if you pull out a hot plate or a cookie tray, throw it in the oven at 350, cover the entire surface with tin foil, and then children can just melt the crayons on top of the tin foil. It's a fabulous project because it's teaching color blending, and it's also a printing spectacular like you've never seen. Look at that. You can hang that in your home, white on white framing, and we're, we're in fine art here. Look! The goodness never ends. Parents think art is scary. I'm here in the world to show people that it's easy and show people that it's fun and it doesn't need to be messy and it can be fun for everybody involved. So set yourself up for success and form a beautiful creative space and get to it because that's what art's all about. Love it. Here's Tiffany Pratt, welcome to you. Thank you very much. I just said to Tiffany, boy, you look like Amy Adams, the actress. I've been told, yeah, I have. Yeah, you do, and that's not <laughs> that's a bad true. thing. No, I'm complimented by that for sure. That's great. Yes. Well, you're a beautiful woman, and you, you. Got, you, you got, how did you get this kids creating thing happening? Because it's great. Thank you, and I, it came to me sort of by accident. I worked in fashion and cosmetics, and then somebody said, you know what, I need our curriculum for kids. You went to school for textiles, I need your help. And then I fell in love with kids and watched them do this. And then it's just escalated into this whole thing. Well, I love what we're sitting on. I love how this is all set up. It's, this is a perfect fab. example of fab. what you need to set this up. But first of all, I love these. These, these are, these these are, are so fab. Um, they're, they're eco. They're yeah. wipeable. This is something that kids can draw on, and it's a fantastic thing because it's cozy. They can, they can move around. They're yeah. accessible. They have body not, room. Yeah, but they can destroy it. Exactly. Yeah. They can destroy it. You can wipe it and just keep moving. Love that. Yeah. And of course, a rug that's really durable, too. You know, and then I notice that you've got, a, a, how many tables are here? Well, there's two tables. Okay, here we go. And what I'm always saying to parents is some people say, let's go into the basement and let's do a big room in the basement. And I think you should do a couple really great sized tables in, in like the living room or kitchen of your home and have it in a space where you're cozy and you're around everyone and you could be making art yeah. while you're with your parents. Yeah, yeah. It's great. You know, the living room scared some people. I heard some gasps. Well, the kitchen, you know. the kitchen is fabulous. We yeah, just, I, I agree with that. Don't you think? If you've got a big enough kitchen yeah, to do it, why not? I think yeah. the kitchen's a great place and also, too, you got the sink there so it's easily to clean. You know, yeah. you also want to, you know, you're cooking. So your kids can be with you. They're doing something productive yeah, that expands true. their minds. They're not in front of the computer. They're making something fabulous and they're right with you. What kind of stuff? Okay, so we got tables, we got fabulous seating. Yep. And I even think sometimes like a rug, like a jute rug like this, that if they spill, you can you know, wipe it up. You don't mind. It's yeah. inexpensive. And right. if it gets really cruddy, you just flip it around and we're great. Right? And then there's storage we have to, to worry well, about a little bit. Well, storage is actually good so that it's easily accessible. So you want to make it easy. Instead of them just going right to the computer, right. if it's all here for them, you can go, hey, why not do some drawing? Let's do some beading. Let's do some collaging. And it's all here. You know what I love? Tell me. This is a drying rack for your art. Yeah. Right? That is brilliant. That is really brilliant. Well, it's fun, too, because it makes it, again, it's all about me making it easy access for children. They yeah. can just go right to here, right to here, and keep moving. Now, I noticed, too, that there's got glass uh, bottles that you can see, yep, containers. Absolutely. You can see buttons. You can see all sorts of things. So it really is available to them. Nothing's off limits. You go, and it's a, like a little creative apothecary. Kids appreciate beautiful things, and I think that's what we have to keep in the back of our minds. If we think it's beautiful, they will, too and they'll access it and they'll use it and it'll keep creating. So yeah. I know we talked about cleanup and you're gasping about the whole living room thing. Well, I did gasp a little bit. <laughs> However,
clever. Because. I think if you're prepared and you're setting yourself up for success, it's possible. Yeah. So I think a cart like this is great because when they're done and all the wet materials are done, throw it on the cart, take it to the sink, and we're great. Yeah. And then you can do something like a little, you know, bath mat with a big tub of water. Kids can wash their hands here instead of tracking through the house with their messy hands. Okay, I gotcha. You know what I mean? Yeah, you kind of have to, feel, you know, there's, there's artistry and then there's function. Right. Right, you know. Exactly. And then the other thing I like about you, too, is the fact that not only do you look like Amy Adams, but the fact that the fact that you are using stuff that's around the house already. Exactly. So give us a couple of, of, of examples. If you wanted to set it up today, for example, you could easily do that. Well, obviously you got jars. Anyone can grab buttons. Anyone can grab their old bed sheets. Any right. paint that you have in the house. Stuff like this is great too. Like we've got lazy Susans. People would otherwise use that for something in the kitchen. That's a good Throw idea. a little paper on it. Do some spin art. I like that. You know, oh, use this. Spin art on a know. lazy Susan. Don't you think that's great? Yeah. And you can also use a salad spinner. It's all there. Yeah. You can go to Tony the even. salad spinner, it just sits there and not doing right? anything. That's right. That's a good idea. Well, it's a function. Like, they're, yeah. they're making a mess. They're pumping the top. They're pulling the lid yeah. off. Like, that's so fun for them. That is so fun for you them. You know? And then you get a whole bunch of paper this here, This is too. easy. Exa well, you want to make it easy for you, too. Oh, I want a color. Rip it off. You know, yeah. like, pull it, roll it, rip it. They start right in. So if it's accessible, it's here. We're in business. I found this thing at an old antique place. Isn't that smart? And you just put, I turn into a beading trough. Yeah, so you just keep throwing beads inside of it. And kids can always have these beautiful things to access. Sure, sure. But it looks great. No, it looks great too. Would so you like this in your house? Yeah, well, not really. No. But uh, <laughs> I'm trying, you know, I'm trying. Not really. Right? You're like, but it's good here in the show. Well, the show. But I love the fact that you do it. And then the easel, where'd this come from? Because I that, that makes you feel like a real artiste. Well, I like the fact that this is a cardboard piece too. Because it's something that you can just cool. destroy, yeah, and you can use, and you can just, you know, if something's too precious, we're not going to use it. We don't want it to get too messy. But when it's cardboard, yeah. it's also fun too because you can, you know, move the height up and down, uh, so it's good for all ages. Right, right, which right. Which is fantastic. Okay, yeah. now also, I just want to say, just for, for for function, is that underneath this paper, you put you put some kind of paper underneath it. Do you do you, do you, well, do newspapers? Project? That's the everyday items you're yeah, talking right, about. Right. So just throw it on newspaper. That's what I always recommend. Yeah. And if you don't have newspapers, use something like this. Right. But again, not a precious table. So yeah. you can go to yeah, an inexpensive furniture store, get something that doesn't cost a lot. So even if you don't get the paper down, you're not going to be upset if there's crayons on that table. No, I saw girls in that story. Where were the boys? Where were there the boys? There was a boy. Where's our boy? His name is Micah. I okay. know. People always say that. Our boy's actually going to do art. Yeah. And, you know, boys do do art. I think it's just about making it the right kind of art. Because boys need to do things that are messy and sloppy, and they don't want to sit there and be precious and That's right. really try too hard. They want to gush. They want to squish. They want to throw. So you want to give them gushy squishy. I've got to say goodbye to you. Thank you so much for Thank all these so much, Thank you so much, Marilyn. Thank you. Thank you. So nice to meet you. So great. See you tomorrow, everybody. Thanks for Thank watching. You. Way to go. So okay. well, what a great idea that is. Is this one? Yeah, and this spiral thing. Guests of the Maryland Dennis Show stay at the Intercontinental Toronto Center.